being your assistant principal here at Fultondale High School. It is with a heavy heart but an optimistic spirit that I announce to you that August the 31st will be my last official day in capacity here as assistant principal. We got a higher call. with the most relevant student at Force of the High because you know I got a YouTube channel and all. You make sure y'all go subscribe to that Roman to Lit T O O, okay? Make sure y'all go do that. But Logan, you want to tell them what we doing today? Yeah. So, so basically Mr. Bothwell is sadly leaving the school. You're all brokenhearted about that, you know. <laughs> but anyways, tonight is the football game. Make sure you guys go check that out. Yeah, um the football game. Yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna coaches, parents, students. Stop cutting me off. About how they feel about Bothwell leaving and about the game. Stop coming up. Anyway, okay. how do you feel about the game? You know, I know how I feel about the game. Anyways, we're going to go knock on the door, right? Is that right? Yes, I guess. And I got to go with my co-host. All right. But y'all, y'all can go ahead and, like, you know, watch the interviews. We'll get back to y'all when we get to the <laughs> See? So watch my co-host. We'll get back to y'all we'll once we the interview. Room. Once we interview Mr. Boswell. Jesus. Oh. Um, Uh, how you feel about the game so far? I feel like we doing good. It's just my offensive line, we got to step up. My offensive line step up, we going to come back and win. How you feel about the game so far? It's an exciting game so far. We playing good defense tonight. How do you feel about the game right now? I feel the game is going very well. I wish we would make some points, though, but I am here to support the team. I'm going to ask you a couple questions. So how you feel about the game? Oh no. about the game right now? I feel like we still have a chance. Go Wildcats, bro. It's only two touchdowns. We got this. We got this. You ain't have to get a lot of my ear. Yeah. We up, we up, we up. You know, go Wildcats. Yeah. Who's your favorite player? Xavier Burke, number three, of course. And who's your favorite player? Number 11. And who's your favorite player? My favorite player is Kyler Grayson. He's an injured player right now. He's not playing, but he's my favorite. Who your play favorite player? Well, tonight, uh, number seven and number six, Kobe. Both of them showed them tremendous heart. You know, they didn't give up. They they stayed in. How do you feel about camp and how did it go this year? Um, I feel like camp went really great. Um, we made some good bonds and we placed first place in game day and second in dance competition. That's good. It was really fun. Um, we bonded more, and we got closer towards each other towards the end, and yeah. Okay, the next question is a very sad question. How do you guys feel about Boswell leaving? Um, I'm sad because, like, he's been the best assistant principal we've had, and, like, it's going to be hard to find another good one like him. Right. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, I feel sad that he's leaving, and I feel sadder because he make no announcement and tell us, but I miss him. So, yeah. So I'm here with Ms. Dill, the, the head chair coach. 
Hey, everybody. <laughs> and we just want to ask you a couple questions. Okay. And which one do you rather prefer, uh, cheer game? I mean, football games or uh, cheer competitions? Uh. I would have to say cheer competitions because that's what we work for the whole year. Our games prepare us for the competition. So the games are like our practices, and the competition is where we get to perform what we do at games. How do you feel about Boswell leaving? Uh, well, Mr. Boswell is going to be missed. He was the GOAT, no cap. That's it? Yeah. I honestly don't like it at all. At all. I don't like it. Why? Why? And how do you feel about Boswell leaving? I don't want Bobwell to leave. That's my dog. I can't. Bobwell, he, he need to change his mind. Change his mind. <laughs> exactly. Y'all, I'm so sad, y'all. Like, I really want Bobwell. Bobwell need to do the crate challenge before he leave, though. <laughs> yeah. If he, if he don't make it cross, he can't leave. Yeah. If he make it cross, he can leave. Yeah. But right now, he can't leave. He can't leave. You heard that? There. So the question is, how do you feel about Bobwell leaving? Um, I'm really sad because whenever I needed help with something, he was always there for me. So when I found out the news, I was gonna cry. I, I was sad. Uh, Ms. Dill, how you feel about Bothwell leaving? I'm very sad that Mr. Bothwell is leaving. Uh, we've grown very co close over the few years he's been here. He's changed the culture of our school for the better. Um, brought our faculty a little closer, our kids closer, the whole school community closer. But I'm very proud of him that he's moving on to something better in his life, opening new experiences, and um, I wish him the best of luck. All right, thank you. And how you feel about Bobo leaving? I'm sad. And he didn't even tell us why. What's up, folks? Know how we are back here, and we are with the assistant principal, Mr. Bothwell, and sadly, he is leaving us because he really, he don't care about us. Get yeah, it? Yeah, but we better interview him and ask a couple questions. So, first question is, uh, how did you become an assistant principal? How did I become an assistant principal? So, um, I. I'd been a long time athletic coach. I'd coached football, uh, girls basketball, boys basketball, um, and track and field. Um, and I had a principal at the time that kind of tapped me on the shoulder and told me to give it a realistic thought. And so I did. And um, I was able to go back to school and um, work on my second master's, which was in instructional leadership. and. Um, God kind of just saw fit to navigate me from there. Um, I had just wrapped up my last basketball season, and then I came here in February of uh, 2019. All right, so the next question is, Logan, you want to ask? Yeah, I'll do it. Like, what was your favorite part about working here? The interaction with you guys, honestly. Um, I got a very, very up-close and personal um, chance to watch you guys grow, to watch you guys mature, um, cheer you on in your successes, um, self-direct you, you know, in, in discipline issues. Um, but overall, the, the best part about working here is just working with you guys. All right. So what was the most memorable, memorable event or moment for us now? Ooh. Um... Most memorable would probably be my first day um, at Fultondale High School. Um, at the time, I was walking in, into the door my first day of school, and um, we lost a student um, who was battling cancer. Um, we worked a full school day, and then we lost another student um, to a car accident. Um, so as a new assistant principal, that was, was very eye-opening, heavy, um, and it was really a, a call to duty to, to get, you know, elbow deep into the student body, into the community, because at that particular time, it wasn't about me being an assistant principal. Um, I needed to be a comforter. I needed to be an ear to talk to, a shoulder to, to cry on. So at the time, you know, I had to remove myself from the situation. It wasn't about me anymore. Um, it was about being a serviceman to to the students and it just kind of took off from there okay so like like what's the difference between your first and your last year at Fultondale my first year at Fultondale I was kind of a Joe Clark kind of personality 
Um, I, I wanted to attack everything that I could. I wanted to address everything that I could. Um, as time went on and I, I started to grow uh, within the position, I quickly learned that the 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 best way to change culture and climate in, in, in a school is to um, be more hands-on and interactive with the students. Uh, the students tell you, you know, what, what they like and what they don't like. The students tell you what they see um, would make it more um, enjoyable at school. So I, I started to really give my ear to the students um, and also to the faculty as well. And from there, I just tried to tie all of my goals and, 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 and aspirations to making Fultondale um, a desirable place for kids and students. I just tied all of that together and, and I started to work for both sides. Um, I would listen to the teachers and address the students and then I would listen to the students and then I would address the teachers. And in all, I believe it made it a more enjoyable place for everybody. Um, we had to pay attention to some things more closely that were going on on campus, but once we got them under control, um, I feel like kids started to enjoy being here more. Um, and it, it it just became a, a, a fun place to work every day. All right, so you kind of touched on our next question, which was, did you fulfill your goals um, here? <laughs> One of my goals was to build on or improve on things that were already going on here before I got here. And I feel like I accomplished those goals because I feel like I left the school in a better place than what I found it. And I don't say that in an arrogant state, um, but there were there were a lot of concerns on the table. Um, and, and I tried my best to hear everybody and I tried my best to fix what I could when I could. And if I couldn't, I found ways to at least find a happy medium with whatever was going on. Uh, the last question we asked Dr. Robson, so you know we got to ask you. Uh, who was your favorite student? And now, <laughs> you know, yeah, be honest. And now, don't laugh and dance when they're having a debate. Yeah, they're out there. Oh, wow. But I had um, to tell them that they weren't. My favorite student, um, pro honestly, has graduated already. Um, <laughs> now Desmond and 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 um, and Christian, those those are my two my two those those will be my lifelong friends. Um, but my favorite student is now at Alabama State University. She graduated um, two years ago, um, and we we just we was just like. We just hit it off from, from day one. Um, so, you know, I'm, I'm sorry to everybody else. Um, nothing personal. Um, but I enjoy and I love all my kids. Um, good, bad, and in between. Um, I have no regrets. Um, if anything, I walk out of the door somber um, because it's a new chapter and I have to leave you guys. But every day was a great day at Fulton Dale for me. Um, every kid that I came across, I enjoyed every kid that I came across I consider either mine or a lifelong friend from here until you know the end alright so yeah. that's all the questions we have but wait hold on okay. this is gonna, I'm really sad this is my last time doing this but you know <laughs> I see I had a handshake yeah, yeah. I had a handshake yeah See, I, I wasn't in his office that much because I was a good kid. So, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm a good kid, yeah. too. I was, I was barely in his office. So there is one more thing we would like to give you before you leave. This is from the okay. teachers and staff. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I appreciate it. Thank you so much. All right, and is there one thing you want to say to Wolfmail before you leave? To the um, since um, February of 2019, it has been a honor and a privilege um, to serve here, to serve the community, um, to serve the kids. Um, and as I said before, is my, my biggest hope is that I met everyone's expectations. And if I didn't exceed them, I hope that I came very close. Um, I, I share a part of Fultondale, Alabama. Um, there is no me without Fultondale, Alabama. So any success that I have, um, it always be connected to Fulton Dale, Alabama and Fulton Dale High School. Um, 
from Black Creek Station to Stony Brook to Chapel Creek to Chapel Hills to Colbert to 100 Oaks. Um, <laughs> and anybody that I've missed, um, I, I am completely um, indebted to this community um, and to the kids and the people in it. Um, it is just, I'll, I'll never forget Fultondale, Alabama and Fultondale High School. So um, continue to do right and right will follow. Um, continue to ask questions. Um, be, be sponges to soak up positive knowledge. Um, this is a great place to be. Uh, we, we've had to experience some circumstances that other schools haven't, but we've, we've held it together and, you know, we're still here to tell the story. So be proud of your community, be proud of your school, um, be proud of where you're from and just continue to be better and get better with everything that you do every day. Made me cry. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> all right Logan, go down. Down. you want to take us out let me take it out i'll take you out well guys that was in a very good end um we don't really miss mr bothwell but other than that we out peace <laughs> principal here at Fultondale high school it is with a heavy heart but an optimistic spirit that I announce to you that August the 31st will be my last official day in capacity here as assistant principal. I will be moving into a different uh, but similar position uh, with another school system and it will allow me to uh, better prepare myself for family and uh, principalship in the near future. Um, I love each and every one of you guys, um, and there's nothing that you can do about it. I appreciate all of the relationships and friendships that we've built here since February of 19, and I will miss every last one of you. On the flip side, until August the 31st, I am still the assistant principal here, and we will govern ourselves accordingly. Or my last act would be to hand down discipline before I walk out of the door. Uh, again, love each and every one of you. Thank you guys for a great experience here at Fisher High School. And once a Wildcat, always a Wildcat. Thank you. Okay, so like, when I think about Bothwell, uh, in the very start, I remember Bothwell interviewed me when I interviewed at Fulton Hill High School. And I remember pulling up to the school and seeing the school and seeing the window air conditioning units and thinking like, is this definitely the place that I want to work at? Um, and then I walked into the interview and I met Bothwell and I met the rest of the team interviewing me. And I remember leaving the interview and thinking like, I really hope this place hires me. Um, and I think on top of that, Bothwell has been like such a delight to work with as far as setting the culture here and just being like a really great AP to communicate with, very easy to talk to about any problems I'm having. And at multiple times, I can remember throughout my time here, he's given me encouragement that I needed to hear at that time to kind of be sure that I was either on the right track or to get myself back on the right track. Um, and so I think I'm just really thankful for the time that Bothell was here for these couple of years and we'll miss him a lot. Mr. Bothwell, you were quite an asset to the Fulton Dale High School student body and to the faculty and staff. We hope for you great things in your future. So, Mr. Bothwell, um, you know, first of all, you and I, we share the same name, Jason. So, we've had that special bond. Um, I know that you love them shoes, and I, and I do too. I always had them questions for you about when shoes are going to be released. I'm going to miss that connection, but luckily I still got your number, so don't be surprised if I'm texting you asking about some, some Jordans coming out. And I know that you're my guy. If I need him, I can come to you. Anyways, Mr. Bothwell, listen, we all hope you have a great transition to your new school. And uh, we're going to miss you here. Um, I don't know who's going to discipline these kids. They might, who knows, maybe they're going to put me in that room. Um, But anyways, we're going to miss you. And uh, we wish you the best and good luck, sir. Talk to you later. Hey, Bothwell. Thank you so much for all your help in the lunchroom, helping control our students. Um, We're going to miss you. Wish you well with your new adventures in life. Um, if you're ever back in Alabama, drop by, say hello. Good luck and God bless. Bye. Hey, Mr. 
of all, Will, I just wanted to say that it's been great getting to know you over the past few years. Uh, we've really enjoyed you being our assistant principal, and we are going to miss you more than uh, you can ever imagine. Um, we are always very happy uh, to see you walking up and down the hall. You are always good to give an encouraging word to faculty as well as students, and just know that we love you and we're going to miss you. Bye. All right, uh, Mr. Brockwell, we are truly going to miss you. Um, we had a lot of good times together. He was someone I could always call, being that he coached girls basketball. After every game, it was a tough game. I could always call on him. We would kind of recap the game. And he'd give me some, some pointers, some details. We'd make jokes. Uh, um, so that, that's one thing that I could always count on. He would always give me my time to get over the game, and I could call him, and we could kind of recap the game together and go over details about the game. Um, him being here has truly changed the culture of the school. He gave it more, more school spirit. You know, he, he fought for the sports. He absolutely fought for the female sports, especially female uh, with the basketball things and things that I went through uh, trying to get done and accomplished here. So I appreciate him for that. He'll truly be missed. Um, he's a very sarcastic, very funny person. Um, I'll always have stories to tell about, you know, his experiences and things that he went through and to help us in the future. So he'll truly be missed. He, he certainly made a presence on myself, other teachers, the school school culture, the kids, and we will miss him dearly. Mr. Buffalo, thank you so much for all you've done for our school. I know that you've definitely made a difference, uh, not only with the faculty here and how we are organized and how we do things, but in the lives of the students here, um, that you've made a huge impact. And we are going to miss you deeply. We're going to very much uh, notice that there will be almost a bit of uh, an empty kind of place, an empty spot with you gone. Um, and it almost like the energy and the kind of lifestyle of the school. But, um, I'm sure the next person will try their best to fill that, but um, I know that we will always miss you after this. So thank you so much for everything you've done and how you've helped us and uh, for helping me. And um, I wish you all the best in what you do. Thank you. I always know how much the kids love and appreciate Mr. Bothwell, and we just had a great few years while he was here. We're glad that he's here. We wish him the best in his new endeavors. Mr. Bothwell, I want to say that I've enjoyed working with you for the last few years. Uh, I've enjoyed getting to know you. I appreciate the way that you handle the students and how they handle the student teachers also. Um, I wish you the best in your endeavors. We're going to miss you. We love you and you will always be a welcome. That I remember most is uh, we went to Six Flags with a group of, I think, calculus uh, or pre-cal and algebra two kids. Um, we maybe even had some babies and just riding roller coasters and hearing all of us screaming with the kids and having a great time. Um, just being able to go to him when, uh, you know, there's anything going on in my classroom that I need support, he was always willing to, to take care of my issues. So I appreciated his uh, role as our administrator. Mr. Bothwell, thank you for uh, always being there for us and we hope that you have a great new school and Congratulations on your new advancement in life. The question is, what are my feelings about Buffalo leaving or if I'm going to miss him? And I can't hardly put into words uh, how dearly I am going to miss him. He has been such a partner for me. We have been tag teaming this thing for three years. Buffalo's first day on the job was, we always go back and say it was baptism by fire. We lost two students on that day, and I said we will... Uh, forever be bonded because you know you don't do that often and then the person you do that with it just kind of it pulls you together and we have worked I think uh, like a partnership ever since then I've never thought of myself as the principal and he the assistant we were just a teammate we were teams and we just try to love on kids and help kids and uh, replacing him I don't think is ever going to be possible we'll just find the next wildcat family member but I will miss him more than uh, more than I can put into I did shake Boswell's hand the other day when he made the announcement that he was uh, going to be leaving. 
I don't know him personally, but I can tell, I can tell from reactions of students and teachers that he is very well respected and will be missed. So um, he made an impact, I would say.